The Hot Wheels racing circuit had arrived in town. Mac had brought one of the guest racers. McQueen. The other Disney cars were pleased to see him. Good luck, McQueen, they shouted. Two minions <laughs> were the starting judges. For the competition, two cars would race against each other. There were two more minions at the finishing line. First car to the line wins and goes through to the next round. If no car reaches the line, the closest to the line wins. Judges, what's going on? Shark. That shark car is too big to race. The little shark car uh -oh. came up to the big shark. It's okay, I'm racing for you. The big shark started anyway and went down the course. Right, on to the competition. First up, Lightning McQueen against Batman. Ooh, that was close. Judges? Batman wins. Unlucky McQueen. Let's see if Mater can do better against Wolverine. Oh, Mater, I think you applied your brakes. Wolverine didn't cross the line, but was definitely closest. Captain America against Iron Man. That was close right until the end, with a captain winning. Well done, Captain. Unlucky Iron Man. Spider-Man against Angry Bird Corporal Pig. Corporal Pig does a flip, and Spider-Man... Did he just take that tree? He did. Judges? Come back. Spider-Man through to the next round. That's better. Holly Shiftwell against Hawkeye. Go. Uh -oh. Close. Hawkeye just wins and Holly takes a tree out. Hawkeye through. Ultron against Ninja Turtle Mikey. That's the closest yet. Judges? They have awarded the win to Ultron. Good race, guys. Yoda against a Stormtrooper. Ooh, Yoda flips and a Stormtrooper wins with ease. The force was not good today, Yoda. Now, the little shark against Thor, with a big shark watching and encouraging. Ready, go. The excitement was too much for the little shark. Thor wins easily. The next round pairings have been made, and the first to race, Wolverine against Ready, Batman. Wolverine turned at the wrong time, leaving Batman to win. Now Spider-Man against Captain America. Very close. Where's the captain? He turned away from the line, leaving Spider-Man to win. Ultron against Hawkeye. Oh, Hawkeye tumbles with Ultron winning easily. The last of the quarter-finals, Thor against the Stormtrooper. That's very close. Judges, Stormtrooper wins, just. The semi-final pairings. Spider-Man against Batman. That was close. But Spider-Man just edged it. Now the second semi-final. 
Stormtrooper against Ultron. Oh, the Stormtrooper ran out of speed, leaving Ultron to go through to the final. Spider-Man against Ultron. Wow, that was fast and very close. Judges, they have awarded it to Spider-Man by the narrowest of margins. Well done, Spider-Man. And that was so close, Ultron. Not your day today, McQueen, said Mater. There's always tomorrow. Welcome to the Daring Jumps Contest, where these contestants risk getting eaten if they miss their jump. Did he say eaten? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Too risky. Let's get out of here. All the remaining contestants have to do is launch themselves down the track the ramp and over the jaws of the dinosaur. Unless he's asleep. Frank? That's better. Then they try to land in these baskets, scoring as many points as they can. OK, first to go. Iron Man. Will he get eaten? No. He doesn't get eaten. He scores five points. Next to go, Sally Carrera. Wow, a fabulous jump and ten points. Sally takes the lead. Spider-Man. He also scores ten points. A great jump. Lightning McQueen. How did he do that? He very nearly became dinosaur food, but somehow escaped. Zero points, but he didn't get eaten. Ultron. Another great jump, and another ten points. Sarge. He never even made the ramp. A good job, perhaps. Batman. Not a strong jump but just makes the five points basket. Holly Schiffwell. Another solid five points. Thor. Wait a minute. Can you hear snoring? Frank? Right, Thor. A good five points. Stormtrooper. Only just, but five points. Superman. Ooh, Superman was nearly eaten, but somehow escaped. No points though. Captain America. Nearly made the ten points, but not quite. Wolverine. Just five points. Mater. Oh, Mater was staring right into the jaws of the dinosaur and managed to fall, missing the teeth. Amazing escape, but no points. Mikey. A good five points. Ant-Man. He lost control completely and somersaulted through the air. He's okay though. Last to go, R2-D2. He just needs a 15 to win. He doesn't get 15 but gets 10 to make it a four-way tie with Sally Carrera, Spider-Man and Ultron. 
For the playoff, the dinosaur is moved back to make it more dangerous. First to go, Sally. Just misses the five point basket, but doesn't get eaten. Spider Man. A good jump and five points again. Ultron. Another good five point jump. Can R2D2 get ten points to win? No but he gets five, so we have a three-way tie with Spider-Man and Ultron. The dinosaur moves back even further. Spider-Man. Nearly gets eaten, but hits the dinosaur on the nose and scores nothing. Ultron. Another good jump and five points. R2-D2. Oh, he gets it all wrong, meaning that Ultron has won, with R2-D2 and Spider-Man in joint second place. The dinosaur is not happy. He didn't eat anyone. Hello, and welcome to the Double Shark Racetrack. We have lots of competitors today. The racers will launch off into the twist and the first one through the shark mouth will go through to the next round. Chase and Spongebob are our judges today. So let's begin. First up, it's Thor versus Batman. Ooh, that was close. Judges? Ooh, Thor just won. So he's through. Next, it's a Star Wars Rebel Pilot versus Michelangelo. Another really close race. That is so close. I think Michelangelo just edged it. Yep, the judges say Michelangelo won. What a race. Now, it's Acer versus Spider-Man. Oh no, Acer went flying. Let's see that again. So Spider-Man goes through. Finn McMissile vs Holly Shiftwell. Oh, Finn crashed right at the end. So Holly goes through. Hawkeye vs McQueen now. Hawkeye crashed at the end too. So McQueen progresses. Now Iron Man vs Stormtrooper. Really close race. Judges? Oh I'm still not sure. Slow motion needed. Iron Man edged it. Unlucky Stormtrooper. Great race. Wolverine vs Yoda next. Oh Yoda crashed. He tried to go too fast, so Wolverine wins. And the final race of this round, Ultron vs Captain America. Ultron wins! He's through. So these are our winners of that round. Let's start the next. Spider-Man vs Iron Man. Oh, a close race between the two Avengers. Spider-Man crashed at the end. So Iron Man goes through. McQueen vs Wolverine. Oh, McQueen has pit Wolverine to the line. He's through. Michelangelo vs Holly next. Fast race. Holly crashed at the end. So Michelangelo progresses. Unlucky Holly. Finally, Thor vs Ultron. Really close. Judges? Oh, Ultron won that. Great race. So these are our semi-finalists. Ultron, Michelangelo, 
McQueen and Iron Man. First up, it's Michelangelo vs Ultron. Oh, Ultron crashed! So Michelangelo is into the final. Oh dear. And Iron Man vs McQueen. McQueen tried to go too fast and he's crashed too. Well done Iron Man. So our finalists, Iron Man and Michelangelo. Who will win? Oh, that was close. I can't tell, judges. It's Michelangelo. He wins. Unlucky Iron Man. That was a great final. Well done, Michelangelo. You win. Welcome to Radiator Springs, which today has had the Hot Wheels Spider Racetrack built in it. The track has been attached to the top of Ramon's House of Body Art. Competitors then have to race down the track and avoid the giant swinging spider. If they get through the spider, they have to go as far as they can. The farthest distance wins. The competitors arrived yesterday and stayed in the Cozy Cone Motel. Frank has been kept out of the town. OK, ready to start. First car to go. Yoda. Oh, he hits the spider and goes slightly off course, but a good start. Now Ant-Man. The spider slowed him down and he's well short of Yoda. Finn McMissile. Hits the spider quite hard, which slowed him down a lot. Sally Carrera. Oh, the spider stops her. Mind out, Sally. Ultron. He brushes off the spider, good speed, and yes, he goes ahead of Yoda. Captain America. A big hit which sends him off course, and he crashes into the back of Yoda. Shame, if he'd have kept straight, he might be in the lead. Sarge. Not really built for racing, and he pulls up short. Hulk. Hulk knocks a spider off completely, but also goes off course, and he also crashes into Yoda. The spider's not happy. Don't mess with the Hulk spider. Luigi. Hits the spider, but for a small car, goes a long way. Rule Sarul. Just didn't get going. Angry Birds Corporal Pig. He didn't get going at all. Batman. Hits the spider, but goes well. Not quite far enough to beat Ultron, but just pips Yoda. Mater, Mater, are you sure about this? He knocks a spider off, and he's out of the picture. Wait a minute, he's taken the lead. Mater, ah, look at the background. It's right by his yard. He'd have known the right track to take. Well done, Mater. Now Iron Man. He knocks the spider off as well, and for some reason, suddenly turns. Strange, but that puts him at the front of the chasing pack. Holly Shiftwell. Hits the spider hard, but she's up there with Mater. This is close. 
Sheriff? Close, but not quite close enough. Mater is still winning. Spider-Man. Maybe he can get the spider to help him. No, he doesn't. And he's currently in fourth place. Now the last to go, McQueen. He should do well. No, he hit the spider hard. And he's only mid-table. Oh dear, McQueen. Beaten by Mater. So at the end, we have Ultron in third place, Body Shiftwell in second, and in first place, Mater. Well done. Hello, and welcome to the Drop Farthest Wins competition. The competitors go down in pairs and off the ramp, and whoever goes the farthest progresses to the next round. Our judges are Rocky and Pepper. And there are the competitors. Hmm, we're missing four of them. Ah, here they are. Thank you, Thomas. So everyone's here, so let's begin. First up, it's Mater versus Wolverine. Ready, go! Ooh, that's close. Judges? Ah yes, Wolverine went the furthest, so he goes through. Unlucky Mater. Next, it's McQueen versus Ultra. Ready, go! Oh dear. It looks like Ultron won that, so McQueen's out and Ultron's through. Now it's a tractor versus Raphael. Well, Raphael wins, but where's the tractor? Oh, it was too scared to go down the drop. Oh well. Mm, nice. It's Captain America versus Stormtrooper. Good jump from both of them, but Captain America wins. Now it's Spider Man versus Mini Pirate Salty. Ooh, another good jump, but Spider Man does win, so he's through. Next, it's Hawkeye versus a minion. Oh, it's hard to tell from that angle. Oh, the minions won! Woohoo! Now it's Ant Man versus George. Ready, go. Ooh, Ant Man bounced further than George could roll. So Ant Man's through. And finally, it's Batman Mini Thomas versus Iron Man. Ready, go. Oh, Iron Man definitely won that. So here are all of the winners of that round. Let's start the next with Wolverine vs Ultron. Ready, Ooh, close one. Judges? Oh, Ultron wins that. Close one though. Raphael vs Captain America Ready, now. Go. Both of them bounced a lot, but Raphael went the furthest, so he's through. Next, it's Spider-Man versus the Minion. Ready, go! Whee! Oof, the Minion goes through. Let's see that again. Ah oh, yeah! And finally, it's Iron Man versus Ant-Man. Ooh, I think we need a better angle. Ah, Ant-Man wins. Good race. So these are our semi-finalists. Ultron, Raphael, the Minion and Ant-Man. First, it's Ultron versus Raphael. Ready, go! 
Oh, Raphael didn't bounce very far at all. So Ultron goes through to the final. And the other semi-final is the Minion versus Ant-Man. Ready? They both kept on rolling, but the minion rolled the furthest, so he's through to the final. So here we are, the final. Ultron versus the minion. Who will win? Ready, go! So close, judges. And they say the minion. He's the winner. Wahey, yeah! Well done. Thank you. G Guten Tag. <clears throat> I mean, hello and welcome to the double lane dual race. Our competitors race in pairs, up the ramp and round the bend. The one who ends up in the winner's circle wins. It's first to two wins. And these are our competitors. Hulk, R2D2, Raphael, Captain America, McQueen, Batman, and Iron Man. Hmm, we're missing someone. Oh yeah, we've got a brand new competitor. Here he comes with Thomas and the trophy. It's Superman! Welcome! Awesome trophy! So let's begin! First up, it's R2D2 vs Hulk. Ooh, a nice drift. Oh, and Hulk wins it. If he wins the next race, he's through. A change of lanes. Oh, and Hulk rolled back. So R2-D2 wins. So it's all down to this last race. And Hulk edges it, so he's through. Next up, it's Raphael versus Captain America. Ready, go! Raphael wins the first race. Lane change. Ready, go! Oh no, Captain America crashed. So Raphael wins and goes through 2-0. Now it's McQueen versus Batman. Ready, go! Good race for McQueen. Can he win the next? Ready, go! Yes, he's through. Well done. And finally, it's Superman vs Iron Man. Ready, go! What a race! I think Iron Man won that one upside down. So a change of lanes. Ready, go! Superman wins! So it's all down to this final race. Oh, well they're both in the winner's circle, but who won? Ah, it was Iron Man, so he goes through. Sorry Superman, you're out. So these are our semi-finalists. Hulk, Raphael, Iron Man and McQueen. Let's begin. First up, it's Hulk versus Raphael. Ready, go! Oh, what a slow end. But Hulk wins. Lane change. Ready, go! Oh no, they both fell. We're going to have to redo that race. Hulk fell again, so Raphael wins to make it one all. 
We need a third and final race. Ready, go! Hulk wins! A very good race, but Hulk is into the final. And the other semi-final. McQueen versus Iron Man. Ready, go! Iron Man won that one going backwards. Is he about to knock McQueen out? Ready, go! Oh no, Iron Man didn't make it. So McQueen makes it one race all. Winner of this race goes through. Ready, go! Oh, McQueen wins. He's through to the final. So here we are, Hulk versus McQueen. One race, winner takes all. McQueen wins! He's the champion! Well done! I'll race you to Lower Tidmouth, said Thomas to Percy, and off he went. Percy went a different way, but just around the first bend, something went wrong with Thomas, and he stopped. Percy didn't realise and raced on. Thomas's driver got out. Hmm, he said. I just need my tool belt. Percy made it to the station. I won! I won! Thomas's driver got out his tool belt and took out a spanner. That's the problem, Thomas. A bolt has come undone, but the nut has dropped off somewhere. We'll never find that, Thomas. We need a replacement. Meanwhile, Percy was worried that Thomas hadn't reached the station and left to look for him. There you are, said Percy. Ah, oh, Percy, said Thomas's driver. Thomas needs a replacement nut. Could you fetch it for us? I'll radio ahead to say you're coming. Percy left. In a short while, he came back with a new nut. That was quick, Percy. Thomas's driver then set to work. He put the bolts back, holding the metal straps together. Put the nut in place. A spanner around it. We then use the screwdriver to tighten it up. There, he said. Just needs a drop of oil now. belt up and thanked Percy. With his engine fixed, Thomas then got back to racing against Percy. Thanks for watching our story which featured the Thomas and Friends Engineers Toolkit playset. There's 35 pieces 
including some train maintenance cards, some train timetable cards, some pens, some nuts and bolts, four lengths of metal, a well plastic, a tool belt with hammer, screwdriver and spanner, a pretend walkie-talkie clock and compass, and some oil and an oil can. The belt will fit around a young engineer's waist with the Velcro strap. Everything you need to keep the trains running on time. Thomas and Percy were arguing. I'm the most useful engine, said Thomas. No, I am, replied Percy. You're both very useful, said Harold. But I'm faster, boasted Percy. No, you are not, cried Thomas. Yes, I am. I'm going faster than you right now, said Percy. Yes, but I'm pulling four trucks. You're only pulling two, replied Thomas. Who do you think's the fastest, they asked Harold. I can't say. You two should race. I know a great racetrack, he said. That sounds like fun, said Percy. OK, I'll meet you there later, said Thomas. And they both continued with their jobs. Thomas really wanted to win, so he met up with some engineers to make him go faster. They turned Thomas into Streamline Thomas. Wow. Thanks guys, said Thomas. I'm definitely going to win now. So Thomas went over to the racetrack. What happened to you? asked Percy. You look completely different. Yeah, well so do you, said Thomas. No I don't. I only had a stripe painted on, replied Percy. Well. It doesn't matter, I'm still going to beat you. We'll see about that, said Thomas. So the track left the start, smashing through a bridge and then circled round to the other side. The trains would then head straight back to the start, which was also the finish. Whoever finishes first will have their flag raised and will be declared the winner. It was really close. And the winner was... Both of them. Both flags were raised at the same time. So they finished at exactly the same time. I guess we're the same speed, said Percy. Yeah, we're both really fast, agreed Thomas. And they also agreed that they were both very useful engines. Hi, I'm Dave, and thank you for watching my video, which featured the Trackmaster Railway Race Set, based on the new film, The Great Race. It comes with two new engines, a streamlined Thomas and a racing Percy. Both of them have amazing expressions on their faces. To use the set, make sure the two points are different so the trains won't collide and reset the bridge. Change the stop goes to stop and slide the trains to the end until they hit a larger bump. That way they'll start in exactly the same place. And turn them on. And release them at the same time. The hill on the left has a button in the track which releases the bridge. The trains then circle round and return to the finish. Whoever crosses the line first has their flag raised along with some fireworks. 
it is a fantastic set, which can also be easily integrated into any other Trackmaster set. And there goes Iron Man, making it look so easy on the icy track. Now here comes Shu Todoroki. Oh, he slipped! Quick, he needs help! The Incredible Hulk comes next, slides round the corner, followed by Jeff Corvette. Looks like the Avengers team is winning. Come on, come on, come on. Whoops! Can the minions fix Shu in time so he can rejoin Jeff? What? Ah! Huh? And he's back on the course. Oh no, Jeff is out of control. Uh oh, he's landed next to a polar bear. Oh no, looks like Jeff is out of the race. Oh no, what's this? Shuto Doroki has fallen off again. The race has to be paused while the cars team finds some new racers. Looks like you're out of racers, Doc, said Iron Man. Not quite, he replied. I'll be the new racer for our team. You know you need a partner, right? Otherwise, you are out of the race and we win. But I'm the only car left here. There must be someone else out here who can join our team. Whee! 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 The Minions! Minions, we need your help. Please, please can you quickly build a car and join our team? Yay! Hurry! Ready? Ooh, let's go! Doc, how about you race with me? I'm too old, McQueen. It's too dangerous. Woohoo! Ready? Go! Whoa! <laughs> so? Hmm, bigger. Yeah, bigger. Okay. Where are they? They should have finished by now. What? Nothing? The race is going to start soon. Your minions better hurry. And go! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Well, looks like we win! No, wait! What's that sound? Woohoo! Finally! Let's restart the race! And the race has started! Lightning McQueen is looking good! It looks like his teammates aren't doing as well! Their car is too big for the track! Uh-oh! Oh no, the minions are out! Bob? Looks like it's just McQueen versus Iron Man and Hulk. Oh, what's happened here? Iron Man is stuck on the track. Oh no, Hulk has pushed Iron Man into the lake and flown off the track. They are both out of the race. Which yeah! means... Lightning McQueen comes first! Yay! 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 Team Cars has won! <laughs>